As another season of Cosmic Crucible ends, another one begins, and I've got the preview. I'm going to jump right into this because we got three big rounds of Cosmic Crucible coming at you in this video with guests by who knows who. I have no idea who's going to be on this video yet because I have no idea how this tournament is going to shake out. But here it is. I'm going to break down the rooms for you so you know what the rules are. I'm going to show you the defense. At least this is what I'm starting with for my first round. I'm going to observe how it reacts. And then I might change it for the second round. I'll try to let you know if I do that. Room number one is full house. And in this room, striker characters with ability block get 50% damage. Raider characters, uh, if a character has ability block, they clear ability block and heal self for 10% of max health. Skirmisher characters apply ability block. So it's a really crazy room. It's a really crazy room, and I have switched around the Isotope 8 of my uh, Darkhold Quicksilver in here to best take advantage of that, but it is a crazy room that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, yeah, that one's going to take some getting used to. Also, there's a big global room where Cabal characters are good. So there you go. <laughs> I'm just going to make it real simple. Um Cabal characters are good. That's the global rule. I could break it down more than that, but it's really just as simple as that. Room number two. Okay. Raid. This room counts as raid. So that's going to be tricky uh, because you, you have raid rules applied to that. I put in my Pegasus in there to take advantage of raid rules. I moved my... Now, Extreme X-Men is also a good choice for that, but I moved them over into room three because if, a, uh, if you have offense up, you get assist now to all allies with offense up. That's going to be nuts. That's basically room one from like season five where everybody assists on everybody's attack. As long as they have offense up, Extreme X-Men spawns with like two stacks of offense up and they keep getting it. So they are going to be brutal in there. It's a really nasty room. I didn't have much to throw into this room. It's um, villain characters. Ultimate abilities cost two less. And they're, they actually have less max health. So I just threw my Underworld in here because they really benefit from that. You could throw Hive Mind in there, but they might actually be hurt by it because they already start up with all their ultimates anyways. And so basically they just get nerfed. They get less health. So you really want to throw a team in there of um, city villains or villains. It's just villains. I, I thought it was, it was city villains before. I think they changed this rule. I think they literally changed this rule to villains instead of city villains, like after I changed it. Look, this is the test server. It's probably a good time to say that this is subject to change. Uh, if that's just villain characters, then this room's totally different than when I set de uh, defense for it. So, yeah, I'll probably definitely change this room around depending on how this goes. You, There's a lot of cool characters you can put in there. Doom, right, is a great character to throw in there. Uh, Dormammu, all that kind of stuff can go in there now. Wow, okay, they changed that one on me. All right, room number five, I threw Infinity Watch in here, and this is a weird one. With Blind, it actually lowers your speed, and ultimate abilities apply Blind to primary target. So it's kind of a funky room. I just threw my Infinity Watch in there so that they can't be blinded and slowed down. Plus, they all start with your ultimate abilities, so they can apply Blind. We'll see how it works out. And then finally, in room number six, this is the out of time room. So this is a room that basically caters to out of time. On crit, apply bleed to primary target. And if you have a ghost rider, uh, whenever a character has bleed, go uh, black knight, whenever black knight has bleed, he gets 20% armor. Remember, black knight converts armor into damage. So this is the out of time room. And so I just put in my out of time. And uh, there it is. This isn't my real roster. This is on the test server. Let's go to these attacks. Let's see how I do. And my first guest is Dorky Dad. And I'm so happy uh, that we were able to do this. This is actually my second run of this tournament. But this is the first real round. There was kind of a test run. That's going to be later on in this video. But I got Dorky for the first round. And he set some defense here. And he's going to tell me what's going on. Now, if you want to see his attacks on my defense... Make sure you mm -hmm, check out mm -hmm, his mm -hmm. channel, Dorky. That'll probably be live. I don't know when you're going to... I guess it's the first round, so that'll be up today. Yeah, I'm going to do it uh, one match at a time. So okay. first one, you'll be the first one up, and it's kind of goofy. Should be a fun time for people to watch. It, we had we had a really good time, and uh, we talked some smack, 
and it was good. Always. And, uh, Always. you know, you guys have to see how this goes. I wasn't, my plan was not to win this. Well, actually, my plan was to win this. I just said a few minutes ago that I was going to smoke all you fools. <laughs> but uh, that that was like a week ago. That was that was past Heartgrave, and past Heartgrave had a lot more spunk in him than than present Heartgrave. Present Heartgrave right. wanted to lose in the first fight and be like, "Well, Dorky, you got all wins, so uh, I guess I'm done." And then fuck off. But um, apparently, that's not what's going to happen. I'm going to have to actually play these rooms. Yeah, I trolled my ass off, so now you have to try. All right, well, fuck you, dorky. All right, so room number one is a weird kind of room that you can negate by making all of your characters raider unless they get trauma put on them. That's kind of the secret that we learned was trauma is kind of the secret sauce on this. Um, I, and so your your strategy here is for 2099 to ability block my entire roster. Well, yeah, among other things. So uh, for those who don't know, if you didn't watch my video already, they uh, they kind of changed the playtest server where they normalized all our rosters. And when they normalized all our rosters, they decided to change all of our ISOs. So in that first room, I had Spider Weaver as a Raider, so she couldn't be ability blocked. Yeah. I had Big Time Spider-Man mm. as a Skirmisher to apply the first round of Vulnerables. Gotcha. My Icarus has been a Raider for the last two years. Uh, so yeah, super excited to see how these teams will function. <laughs> also, they de leveled all my characters from 100 to 95, they so did. that was fun. They um, did so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing to mention. Um, unlike if you want to see realistic attacks on this season, that will be later in the video. I do have those, these right. are some bullshit. Um, all the characters are supposedly level 100, except they're kind of not. All their isotope yeah. aids were fucked up. This is a fucked nonsense roster that we are just having fun with, basically. So, yep, you'll get a feel for how the rooms work. And if you want to see real attacks, those will be later on in the video against some nameless, faceless content creator that I didn't fucking care to name. So, whatever. <laughs> You I mean, go. you know, nothing against them. I just, you know, I, it's not a personal thing. I just, you know, I, 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 I hang out with who I hang out with. Okay. Um, that got needlessly dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> As things do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shit. I hope I don't get into trouble. All right. Um, trying not to, but now they're going to watch. Now they're going to be like, who the fuck was it? That's really the reason why I did it guys. Okay. Just so that people would fast forward. Like don't get it twisted out there. Content creators just because I'm good at my fucking job and you suck at yours. All right. <laughs> God, this just keep it. Just keep just going down. Just keep knife, digging the, the fucking knife. hole yeah. for myself. All right, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm mean. All right, um, I kind of want to just throw new warriors against this, but I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, secret defenders comes to mind. I'm looking at everything I have available. Um, maybe this is my secret defender room. I also like Secret Defenders on five, though, because you have all that revive from Dormammu. I, I wish I would have planned this out ahead of time, but I'm really just kind of being hit with this in the face right now. Um, mm. and, I, and I'm not going to help you. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, you've helped me enough by not fixing your isotope eight that I don't really need that much help. Um, well, I didn't have three hours with the one hour window they gave us to go in and fix all my characters. <laughs> I mean, you know, I made the time because I love this community, dorky. I don't know why. You know. I love my kids. <laughs> Screw that. I wanted to go play. I actually had my daughter sit next to me. <laughs> she made fun of me for what I was doing. It was bonding. Um, I don't know. I want to come back to it. Actually, I want to start with room number two. I'm afraid of room number one, actually. It's kind of a hairy room. Room number two is more straightforward. This is Extreme X-Men, and we have raid rules apply. And uh, what I've been doing on this is just throwing Bifrost at it. So that's what I'm going to do here. It's a bit of a punch down. And let's go. This is my first attack. Yeah, I think this is going to be very safe because yeah, Sylvie safe. gets more speed bar than Nightcrawler does, right? Um, I so think they have to eat watch. some attacks. Oh, okay. But you also spar with Deflex. Yeah. And Death yeah. Proof. And we don't get the resistance. If we had the resistance, then Bifrost mm. would be amazing in here. But it's it's well, okay as it is. You lose 50%. You still have 150% resistance it's from Team Loki. It's still pretty nasty, and we have that immunity. Yeah. And so we're just eating everything that they can do. We just don't care. Yeah. And we're, like, so passively was, killing Cyclops. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good attack, Cyclops, but, buddy, that was great. <laughs> you did, you you did, did good. good. You did good, pal. <laughs> Forge, you going to try and die next? <laughs> well, he brought back Cyclops. But, uh, well, that's good. 
Yeah, he's doing something there. It's a cute attack. You kind of win by attrition. It's not high efficiency, and it definitely has the ability to fail. But right. it also has the ability to win with only using a Bifrost, which gives you so much more offense power. If you can throw a Bifrost at this and win, that's like crazy. Yeah, and we were talking about this uh, on my video. It seems like the um, the Pegasus team is going to be the default best raid team, at yeah. least for now. They'll probably release another raid team. Um, While the season just is So running. they can sell it. Yeah, yeah, right, just so they can sell. Um, but yeah, Pegasus spun in with like 75% speed bar on every single one of their characters is probably going to smoke all these teams. But I do wonder how Pegasus would handle Bifrost because yeah. Kestrel is the first character to go. And she, her being a cosmic hero is going to give them all safeguard. So they'd have safeguard, they'd mm -hmm. have immunity. Bifrost still might be that team to throw on defense. That is nice, actually. Um, either on defense, or I wonder if, if uh, Bifrost can beat them on offense. I haven't tried that matchup uh, either way. Right. Which is something that uh, you know we're going to have to. I I want to test. I want to practice mode in Cosmic Crucible. Just as a content creator, I want it. And I think the community should have it as well. I don't know. You, you might be opposite on that. You might not want that. I don't know. Uh, as a competitor, I don't want it. As no. somebody that... But yeah, I definitely want it. Uh, one thing we should note is that the Cabal team is going to come in here and wax everything, right? Yes. The Cabal team will come in and they're going to remove the turn meter that people gain on spawn. So if you're None struggling of them are with heroes. If you're yeah, struggling exactly. with this or you don't want... Or you want high efficiency on it, then Cabal is your boy. Yeah, I think the Cabal team will come in here and just walk over it. But as you can see, yeah, Bifrost will wax a uh, Extreme X-Men, which is kind of crazy because uh, Bifrost is an older team than Extreme X-Men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bifrost still hold it down. Still great in raids, too, in the yep. Incursion uh, Difficulty 2 slider. I find that on Difficulty 3, they're one of the best teams. Oh, yeah. For their section. So I'm really afraid of the new Mystic section when the new raid comes out. <laughs> I'm more because we were just talking about Pegasus, right? Getting 75 percent speed bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think about think about what the next raid has to do to phase out Pegasus. Mm, that's a nasty like, thought. That's a nasty thought. Yeah, it's got to have Mephisto on it, right? Because Mephisto so. does what Cabal does and I negates that so. speed bar. It'll be the demonic raid. We like uh, <laughs> so we're spicy out here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's always going to be demonic gear to me. All right, uh, we're going into room number three now, and I think this is my new warriors. I think you've given me a real nothing team here. Um, yeah, you know, it's a little something, but I think new warriors has got this sussed out. Yeah, new warriors will walk over that. No yeah, problem. I like it, and plus uh, they get offense up, so they might get that assist. Subject to change because, like, I don't know about these rule, room rules. They don't ever seem to work right when we get them. Well, the first test we had uh, didn't have that, or it had it didn't have the anti resistance stage two. Yeah, and it didn't it have uh, oh, there was something else it didn't have. It had city villains. Yeah, city villains instead of, instead of villains. villains at four. Yeah, th some things have changed around. Oh, I wonder if yeah. that was different when I did the intro. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. Yep. I don't know. Subject to change, everybody. I don't care. I don't. I won't even go back and watch that intro. That's how bad of a content creator I am now. No, that's how much of a free human you are. <sighs> Pretty much. I. I just. I just. I can't. Uh, I can't care as much as you do, Dorky. I don't know if you care that much. <laughs> 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 All right, so here we go. Just absolutely There's demolishing the, assist. the team. It's coming in. It's coming in. But you yeah, got close offense is... up. Here we go. And I, I said in your video, and I want to say it again here, uh, just for the record, I think it would have been great if this X-Men rework would have been designed to just destroy Infinity Watch. I think that would have been really, really cool. I think Infinity Watch has outlived its usefulness in this game, at least as far as like a Cosmic Crucible, like Apex team. It's an Apex defensive team. And how old is it? Like four years old? Yeah, I'd like to be able to Come tell on. people like you can skip Infinity Watch and Come not on. skip Beat and just yeah. go with whatever the new team yeah. with the new stats is because it's more fun. It's like, come on, it's so old. And like, yeah, going uh, chasing for Adam Warlock in this day and age in the year of our Lord 2024. Come on, guys, knock it off. Phase the team out or bring it back. Add a character yeah. to it and bring it back and let's have some fun. Just like decide, make a decision, either hard counter it phase it out yeah and it wouldn't have been hard just like and you could have limited it to cosmic crucible in cosmic crucible phoenix destroys infinity watch on spawn just very specific <laughs> removes she's, 
she is like one of the cosmic entities. Yeah. It would make a lot of sense. Yeah, just like fun. And then it would be like, okay, guys, if you don't want to deal with this cosmic, if you don't want to deal with this Infinity Watch, Cosmic Crucible, um, you know, um, efficiency bullshit trap. Just build up Phoenix and, and you know, uh, Colossus or whatever, and they just shut down. Uh, they shut that down. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Yeah. Uh, something I do have to worry about. This is the nastiest room you got is room number yep. four, I think. Well, and a goddamn Mephisto. All right. You want to do Mephisto? <laughs> He's just sitting here. The devil sure. is just sitting here staring at me with hive mind. Yeah. Like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I don't know. I put him up there as kind of like a gag. You so... dick. Well, it's because you got Mephisto too. So you're just I do, but like, it, this, this is such non help. This is not helping anybody. My audience is like a year away from Mephisto. Wow, you must have a bunch of whales if they're only a year away. That's crazy. It's not going to take that long. <laughs> I mean, they listen to me. I'm going to get there in about six months. I'm going to say six months. They're going to get there. Uh... In about Six months. Yeah, we'll see what they do with the Crimson Gear. I think that'd I be a healthy timeline. I think so. I'm pretty fast. Especially, I'm pretty efficient. This is, de this is definitely coming out after March 20th, right? Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this far I into mean, the video, if they found it and I get kicked out of the program, congrats. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, six months is great considering your ex is... There you go. Yeah. I think you got cut off there. That was Professor X. That's right, everybody. Professor X... I don't give a shit. I don't know what the hell the bit of information is there. Um, what do I have left? I have, I like you got everything. I like Cabal, New War, uh, Masters of Evil. I like you know what? Let's do the Secret of Defenders attack before I get into this. Let's do the easy ones. Let's get this out of the way. Let's go for this sure. this stupid blind room that's like basically nothing. Like when you do an yeah. ultimate, you apply blind to the primary target, but not if they have immunity dipshit, which like every team has. Every team has immunity or a clear. It's really hard to land a blind on anybody in the top 10 teams in this game, basically. Yeah, also it's a team like Secret down. Defenders has uh, unavoidable attacks on half of their abilities. Yeah, they're so just... Blind doesn't do nothing anyway. Yeah, like, blind is like a really nerfed out status effect. Because we have some characters that were really getting overpowered with blind, like Taskmaster. I'm just throwing some out that did crazy blind stuff. And then we had yeah. to counter all that. And it just kind of stuck. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Super Blind coming in 2025. <laughs> Super Blind. <laughs> what the fuck? That just cracks me up. I, I I hope they do dumb shit like that eventually, so we can dunk on it. Uh, who is getting this stun? I feel like Morgan Le Fay needs to. St I kind of wanted Red Hulk to eat that stun, but I think Red Hulk's just gonna eat a death. I don't think yeah he doesn't he doesn't have a bomb doesn't or bomb there so he's just super squish <laughs> what do you, wait this is your team <laughs> i thought you were good at this game dorky what the hell is this i am putting so little effort into this <laughs> wait it's you know that, what i said about you being a better content creator than me scratch that <laughs> yeah well i'm, I'm just trying to re-establish <laughs> going forward i appreciate you trying to re-establish me as the top guy i really appreciate that i do um what do you mean to re you it's working. been you I've just, uh, you know, I've just been playing you know a game. What? I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't dispute you've been, it. I don't dispute. You've been it. the man behind the uh, the curtain the whole time for me. You guys um, thought I planned my own crucible and and did my videos? Mm, no, 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 no about that. You know what? I always have to out myself when it comes to scourges. I'm like, when I do my first pass on the scourge, it's my advice. But when I do my run, I go to your video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always use what you got there, but I usually get a good tip. I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that little. I could do that in this way. There you go. Yeah, well, the thing about the scourge advice, right? It's always like, uh, it's here's what I'm doing, and it then people have to mold. Yeah, it exactly. Inspires. I think it actually helps people to watch both of us. I don't think it hurts uh, to watch Dorky and me and then come up with your own solution somewhere in the middle. Yeah, um, that's usually what I agree with people. I wouldn't watch like a dipshit. And you know, I'm not going to call out anybody in particular. But, I, but listen, you know, I you wouldn't know. watch anybody but Dorky or Hargrave when it That's comes down to pretty it. Pretty much. Yeah. And, and if you ask me when I'm not on here, I wouldn't watch anybody <laughs> but Dorky. So. <laughs> it depends on whose video you're on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, um, so that was an easy win. So far, I am just destroying you because I actually kind of care about this, which is weird. I don't know how. Yeah, I'm this is that. a weird take. I, I thought like yeah. Saturday, I've been drinking. Hey, come on here, goof off. 
Homie's got a notepad. What the? I just this is how I do. I just I don't know any other way. Help me, dorky. I'm addicted to Marvel Strike Force. I've been saying it for three years. I need help. Hey, man. More remember, remember when you were just a fan of mine and not a content creator? That was weird, huh? Uh, it's awkward. I I don't remember past two weeks. Awkward. So wait, I got Superior Six. Yeah. So like, what the hell do I do with that? Well, I don't know. Kill stage one. <laughs> I guess so. You want, I guess. You I guess so. Scroll, Apocalypse, Mephisto, Cabal. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I guess. I guess Superior Max Six is probably like Superior Six doesn't care about anything. God no. And do I even need to mess around with this raider business? Do I even care? I guess these guys can be. Oh, I can't. They don't have it enabled. I don't even know. You if can't I be. Care. You can't be ability blocked anyway because of the yeah, charges I don't even on care. Goblin. Um, he's a skirmisher, so he's gonna drop ability block. He's. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. You you can't be ability blocked on this stage because cool. of the uh, goblin charges. So like, Superior Six doesn't give a shit about this room. Nope. They just don't even fucking care. That's amazing. I, don't, I don't think they'll care about many teams except that's amazing teams and that like and you see eight. so i could have used them on room two for an easy win oh yeah definitely but bifrost since it worked has now freed them up to just decimate some other room just for random fun which is kind of oh cool. yeah so that's kind of, better that's kind of neat so if you can get away with using bifrost as an offensive cosmic crucible team it's just gonna make your life easy and now they're all ability blocked that's hilarious it actually worked <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, so it, so you're not going to see it here in this video. You probably Jesus Christ. Grave. But in my video, the first ability block got cleansed oh from Raiders, God. and then the second one didn't. Wait, I have <laughs> I have his ability block. I don't even need it. Like this is just gross. What the fuck, Craven? <laughs> my Craven isn't this big. Like I don't think I think this is a bigger Craven than mine. God damn, you're playing a different game with a with a three diamond Craven, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, Craven smashes. If he reaches Holy his ultimate, shit. it's lights out. Oh my god. Well, that was a nothing room. That was insane. Okay. The, I don't even are we excited about this season? How do you feel about this? Like, how much have you played it? Like, are you into this? Is this gonna be better than season six? Worse than season six? Well, I just got I got these big hippo eyes on when it comes to the raid on crucible room. And um so I, I I'm probably getting the Mephisto on my competitive Crucible account. I'll probably get it like four or five months in. Is that going to be enough people... time to use it on this season? No, exactly. No. And the, the, and like fifty percent of the people I fight will unlock him before the end of the season. So I'm by default going to have to give up one loss to people that have Mephisto, which means I'm not going to be able to compete. So for this season, I'm just going to be having a lot of fun with it. Just make sure I stay top two hundred. Um, just stay a top 100 for content sake and yeah, it's going to be a fun season but yeah I, I'm more interested in the, the mid game uh, viewpoint this season you know it's wild you've been talking and I didn't really hear anything you said because I, I was hung up on your camera quality what the fuck happened did you get a real camera no I it looks good on. you turn the lights on you got like a background going on motherfucker look at you stepping up dude got rid of that green screen bullshit I'm like proud <laughs> I love it. Like a, I love like it. my Batman. <laughs> I do. I do. Actually, I love the Batman. As a as a guy who has a bunch of bullshit in his background, I think it's great. I, I'm a big fan. I love this. All right. So that's awesome. All right. Room number four. I'm just going to fuck you up with Cabal. Because uh, this do is, the, it. It, in my opinion, this is the Cabal room. It's villains, ultimate abilities, all that kind of stuff. Now, one thing I did find out is that Apocalypse is not empowered on, on this <laughs> thing. So if I try to use him in room six, he's like just not going to be all that. So maybe I'll use him. What I was going to do is Cabal plus um, Kang and Titania. This is my preferred setup, actually. I like Cabal as like a addition to Masters of Evil uh, mm -hmm. because I feel it keeps them meta. It gives them that speed they need. But... I could drop Titania for Apocalypse and probably get a little more mileage out of this, especially since you have a Black Knight and a Super Scroll. Like, I don't know how good Cabal is. It's good. Uh, yeah, I think because the Super Scroll is probably not going to take a turn with yeah. your uh, anti-speed bar coming in from Iron Patriot. Yeah. Um, I think you would have been fine, but I also don't think you're getting to Apocalypse next stage anyway. I don't think so. Because you're going to mirror it with your own Super Scroll and you're yeah. going to walk over it. So. 
I think kind so. Kind of an epic burger. I think make so. Your, so. Uh, make your Kang a Raider, though. Kang a Raider. I like him as a striker. Why are we doing Raider? Uh, when he crits, it activates Namor's passive, and that oh. gives all of the Cabal team speed up. Very nice tip, dorky. You see, that's why you the man. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, you've sold me on it. I like that a lot. Um, I like everybody else's striker. I think I'm happy about that. Uh, Raider on Namor. Okay, let's go. Let's see how good Cabal is. Um, it would be hard to add three other characters to Apocalypse and Kang and beat this, I would think. I think Cabal is uh, going to show its value here. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think like even the Apocalypse Eternal team would probably struggle yeah. on this one. Yeah. Oh, in this room, you will be able to alt turn one because it's the villain room. Exactly. So That's why I wanted go. to bring Apocalypse in here because he's not empowered on here. I, I might have not normally have done it, but like it's kind of he's not. He's really gonna suck on room six. Yeah. So here we go. We get to Kang Ultimate right away. Are we even gonna show how good um Cabal is, or are we just gonna show how good Kang is again? <laughs> I'm pretty sure like Iron Patriot is gonna kill everybody. Damn. <laughs> Kang is so go. good, and, and I love Iron Patriot. I, Iron Patriot is a hard-hitting motherfucker, and I think he's oh, great. Yeah. He is just oh, yeah. evil. America. I fucking yeah. love it. So this is kind of cool, right? Because now, oh, if, Pegasus, if Pegasus requires Cabal, because they get 75% speed bar, and no magic Boom. seems great. Well, we got we to test Bifrost. Done. Pegasus. Fucking done, dude. Cabal is so great. Cabal is so great. But yeah, if you have to use it on the raid room, then this room's going to get really dicey, right? I don't yeah, know what you're doing. it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Uh, but if you can counter whatever's in that raid room with not a meta team like Bifrost, then you got a breeze ahead of you as far as this season goes. All right, it's time to uh, make a deal with the devil, Dorky. It's time to get demonic. It's time to get devilish. It's time to get satanic. Well, let, let's 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 pause. Let's pump the brakes for a second. You've won the Crucible at this point. I you have. have I've absolutely won the Crucible. Yeah. So why don't you try and do this without Mephisto? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you try. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna have to cancel though if I don't win, because because I'm gonna need what I use with Mephisto to win. I think. No, because um, you could just bring Mephisto in after the fact. I bring Mephisto that. in on the second attack. I don't know if I trust that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. No, you, you, if you... <laughs> Stop trying to bargain with me. Stop fucking You're bargaining fine. with me. You're fine. You fucking bargain Mr. with Hargrave, me. This, this, is actually, this is good, though, because this is meaningful. Uh, there's going to be a lot of players who are probably going to go up against a motherfucker with Mephisto, and they don't have him, and so we're going to mm. have to figure something out. Like That's going to be... Yeah. If you're one of these uh, overachievers in Cosmic Crucible, which honestly, I'm kind of not, so I might not right run into this problem myself, but some people out there might run into this shit. Um, I think Void Knight is good. So, yeah, for sure. So we got a hero. Let's grab uh, one more hero, then two. I got Spider Weaver. I, I don't know. All righty. I, I don't know. Um, I don't have, like, a whole lot left. I do have Red Hulk. I don't know. I feel he's, not, that. he's not a villain. I got zombie juggernaut. Where are your villains at? I guess we just used all. Didn't I've we? really used a lot of stuff. I I did, we got vulture. I'll go vulture. Vulture will go pretty quickly here. I got vulture. Yeah, you want to slow him down. Did you use Emma at all? Uh no, I should have Emma. I don't. I don't ever use. So Emma okay. will affect. Well, Mephisto is a bastard. Yeah, but Mephisto's first attack does it even do damage? He's gonna go I, fast. He's gonna go first. You can't avoid it. He yeah, he's, he's, he's just going to put exhaust on you, right? I don't think his attacks do actual Yeah, damage, what does right? the AI do? I have no idea. What the, Do you know what the AI does with him? I assume it defaults to ultimate. I assume it defaults to ultimate and just puts exhaust on you. Okay, so and he's going to do the there, third option. Yeah, and then from there, your scroll's going to go and rewind the Void Knight and the Mephisto. Then your Void Knight will go, flip a bunch of stuff, do a bunch of ability blocks. You get your... Spider Weaver stuff out. I think I think he there's potential here to win this, I think. So this is what you would advise. Yeah. Why this not? Is an interesting attack. I like having you here for this. I didn't want yeah. to put this much thought into it. Let's go. Uh if it doesn't my, work, my dude, I, I, I haven't read the Mephisto book like four or five times. It's a lot of stuff. And I don't know how the AI is yeah. gonna handle it because he has a unique thing where he gets to like three different uh contracts. Yeah. He's not gonna yeah, pick so the like, best one. 
That's it, because he has to put expose on you to stop your scroll speed bar. So and I think goes. he defaults Boom. to alt. So, wow. So, yeah, so I would... Oh, they all got safeguard too, though. Hmm. I would probably rewind the Void Knight and the Mephisto and the Gwen. Yeah, I, I think I want to drop ability block on Mephisto. Well, what does... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you get ability block Mephisto. Does That's Mephisto, yeah, yeah. like, hate ability block or something? Does he have some, if I get ability block, I push your shit up kind of thing? I can't We'll remember. never know until you hit the button. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm not I'm not reading Mr. Hargrave. I think I've made that clear. I just, I, I, I think he might first. have, all right, apparently he doesn't have some, if you give me ability block, I kill you, which some characters Perfect. have. I don't know. I, I like that functionality, but yeah. Uh, okay. Now I can ability block the void knight. I got to kill that red goblin yeah. before I kill anybody else, but maybe later. I don't know. Oh yeah. You got, I mean, you're fighting through safeguard and defense. You're going to have a little bit before you do that. You got to stun trauma now though. Who I does do. anyone have an unavoidable attack? I don't know what's happening here. Wait, um, Mephisto does have something with the ability block, doesn't he? I, he's just on turn. He's in a clear. I'd put trauma on him. Yeah, let's just, just yeah. shut down Mephisto. We don't want to. He's like the wild card. That you know, everything else is yeah. gonna fold to Super Scroll. I couldn't yeah. stun him. Yeah, is he stun adverse? Is it a God damn boy? God That's damn fine, Mephisto. It, everything's fine. God damn boy. I don't it's not know gonna about be this. fine for long, but everything's fine for I now. I don't know about this. Okay, and now they all have safeguard, which is really bad. Yeah, yeah, but it's not you're gonna that. you're gonna do stuff and your I'm, scroll and you're avoiding attack. I'm still. not I think you're okay. confident about this situation. At you all. got you got charges on Weaver, and if you're I gonna get, get to do well, that's on this attack. Do you win? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. All right, here comes in the would, ultimate. I wouldn't have done that. I would have held the ultimate for the next what? attack. The fuck? You're weird. Yeah. Well, because you didn't. Well, okay. No, 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 don't, 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 because you want to show how Mephisto sucks on the follow up attack. <sighs> trust, trust me. You have you have your own Mephisto. You're gonna walk through the next attack. I'm gonna. Ju I just want to come back in with Mephisto. Yeah, and you're gonna instantly win. Oh, you want a one shot with Mephisto? Yeah. See if see if your scroll can pull can pull this one off though. You think he can do it? That'd be no. Good. I don't. Oh, <laughs> I want to see you try though. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't even get at him now. Uh, we got uh, taunt yeah, turn, on uh, turn Carnage. Mephisto is horrible. I don't like this character. Yeah, he's about to ult. You could, if you want to one shot it now, would probably be the time to back up before he ults. Yeah, this isn't good. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust it. I just think that he's a nasty character. See, he's gonna get to do that expose crap when you come back in. That's why. It, that's why. If you just want to play it safe, you would just let this end, and the follow up attack for you is gonna be obvious instant win. Is it? Yeah, because they're already gonna have exhaust. So when you do your packed with Mephisto, you could do the special to put expose on them, or you can do your basic just to smash somebody to death i guess and i could throw a bunch, i could throw thing. a bunch of ghost riders in with them that's kind of fun that's kind of that's kind of elite yeah all right fine just, you, just you had it. me at ghost rider you had me at ghost rider don't steal uh oh well i stole yeah it is it is. just hit just hit auto scroll's got this scroll's still the best I think scroll's the got this dude <laughs> yeah. scroll's got this i'm pushing 100%. for scroll right now let's go scroll yeah I'm waiting for the scroll to just one shot right here. He's got immunity and defense up and trauma. That what hit like fuck, dude. He doesn't even care. Scroll don't yeah. care. Scroll don't care. Scroll don't care. <laughs> Scroll's gonna win. That'd be that'd be that'd be amazing. <laughs> but here's the thing with Mephisto. If he sucks, guess what? They'll make him better. They'll just make him better. They don't give a <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, they, they've They'll shown just... time and time again that, like, if he sucks for some reason, because I've already shown test foot, uh, test server footage of him, like, sucking, and it doesn't matter. They'll just make him better. They, yeah. don't, they don't fucking care. Like, whatever he's supposed to do, he's going to do. I assume he's supposed to just run the arena. So he'll do that. Yeah. Didn't I think Mobile made a video, though, where it's just like, whatever Mephisto goes first puts exhaust on the enemy Mephisto, and then they don't do their pact and then the team loses yeah yeah all right so. well here we go let's go ahead and now i've got to use uh the mirror uh, with some ghost riders for funsies there you go i don't have a, just a ghost rider tag though you should soon soon there's going to be a, a spider-man tag and a oh i only have i only have old school ghost rider to use though i didn't even think about that oh uh, just use your own hive mind then who cares I'm going to throw Ghost Rider in. At least one Ghost Rider is going to get me a little bit of something, I think. I forget what. It does crit something. rate? 20% crit rate? Some I think. crap like that. And then I yeah. don't have Void Knight. 
Um, mm, they're going to have okay. safeguard. They will not have safeguard because Mephisto only gives safeguard when he does his so can initial I, attack. Can I Icarus, Cersei? Can I Eternals? Sure. The Void Knight is going to go before them, though. So how uh, could you stop that? How could you stop the... Uh, if you bring, well, like, Well, you know what? I, I, I would rather have some the a theme to this. I, I want to have fun. Okay. And I still kind of want to lose, too. Maybe I can lose right here, and then I can blame it on you being a little bitch putting Mephisto down, <laughs> which would be a great excuse. Really. There, there's literally no, I don't think there's a single. Why? Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're bringing. Uh, oh, that's a no, really go bad no, go idea. Go for it. No, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Do it. But it's a really bad idea. Do it. No, it's good. It's good. Go for it. They're just go gonna eat it. all my summons. No, that's not how high mind works. That you're fine. This is a bad idea. It's just, it's just, it's the team I want to use. It's all you know, zombies and Satan and Ghost Rider. Fine. This, this game's so fucking boring. Sometimes I swear to God. <laughs> swear to God, all the fun stuff I want to do, I don't get to do. All right, fine. Fucking bring X twenty three for memes. X twenty. All right. You know what? I talked shit about her. I didn't think she was very good, but I do like three turns of ability block. The returns there of ability go. blocks kind of tasty. All right, this is a weird fucking team. I have no idea what's going on here. Let's see how good Mephisto is. But but here's the best part about this, because they're already exhausted. You're going to use your Mephisto basic. That's going to activate the X-23. X-23 is going to go before the Void Knight. You're going to ability it. block the Void Knight, <laughs> and then your Icarus is going to fuck everybody up. I love how this plan hinges on X-23. What are you doing? All right, what you, is You got this. All right, so we're gonna do the basic, the uh, the, the one hit kill basically on Mephisto. I mean that, or you do the special. If you do the special, the enemy team can't get the speed bar. So you could have brought him dying, but I didn't think that far ahead. Oh, wild! So I actually could have used my demon team. Yeah, back out. Try again. <sighs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. All right, we have to see if this works. If this doesn't work, I'll come back in and we'll try that. I'm just going to try to use the instant kill mode on Mephisto because I believe that we'll instantly win if he's gone. Oh, yeah. I love the instant kill thing, by the way. I think that's that's a fun kind of thing. I wish it was yeah. more consistent because sometimes it doesn't quite do it. Yeah. Um, I wish it was like a full on like kind of uh, what um, Deathpool does. With her alt, mm. with her fully charged alt. I wish it was more, which they might end up doing. Like I said, if he doesn't perform correctly, that's what he, he'll just do that. Yes, just They'll wait just till the first person damage. unlocks him and says, yeah. "Oh no, this somebody is, figured he, out how to beat him with like the fourteen best characters in the game. You better buff him so he punches everybody in the field one shot kill. That'll be good for the health of the game, everybody." <laughs> Kraken support. Kraken support. I mean, Marvel player's voice. I mean, Kraken support. Help me. All right, here we go. Uh, explosions. One, two. Icarus, still one of the best characters in the game. And X23 is just going to style on it. And that's it, yeah. dorky. You that win. is the end of the thing. And yes, yeah, spoilers. Um, I win. Uh, but go watch the fails because it was interesting. Dorky had a lot of fun. I think this was a lot of fun. I thank you for joining me in this massive video full of content creators who, um, yeah, you're the best one. The first one. I'm definitely the most handsome. I might definitely. not even bother talking to the other ones, depending on who I get, you know? Well, I'll be excited to see. Oh, do you want to play some bets? And who didn't show up? We should play some bets. <laughs> So, okay. um, all right. So, so we had me versus Dorky was the first uh, bracket, and mm -hmm. I took the victory. Uh, I think mm -hmm. I think I was ahead by one, and uh, it was because you use that stupid Mephisto crap. Um, we have Valley Flying versus mm -hmm. uh, Up Dog. Okay, mm -hmm. um, who do you think is going to take that one? I got Up Dog. You know, I got to take my boy Valley. I got to take my boy Valley. I, I think that Valley is going to take it. Here's the thing where Valley does have a better leg up. He's not streaming, so Twitch chat is not going to be trying to purposely make him lose like they always do. That's true. That None of this can be streamed, which is actually a big problem I have with this. I feel like this would be so... Leave us know down in the comments so I can show these idiots that you guys would love to see this kind of thing streamed. Like, how much fun would this be if all... Everybody in this uh, bracket, what is this, like, one, four, eight people were streaming this, doing our attacks in the span of, say, three hours. If we did each round was one hour. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. If you made it you know, 
40 minutes into this video. I should have asked this at the start of the video. I'm an idiot, but um, let me know down in the comments. I'll show them because I think that's a great idea. And then we have Mobile Gamer. He's the um, Nobu versus mm -hmm. I have no idea who. Yeah, I don't know who that I is. I don't know. I don't know who that is. But do you think Mobile Gamer will win his round? Uh, I always want to pull for Gamer, but I don't know who he's facing. I don't know who he's facing, and I don't know how much Mobile Gamer cares. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm not sure. No, I don't know. He's sporadic. It depends on the day that he that he loads this up. When the embargo ends, if it's embargo day, then he'll play. <laughs> here's here's the thing though. Never count out those baby boomers. You gotta you give know. it up. You never yeah. know. And then we have Goofy versus uh Doolong. Yeah, I got Doolong for that one. Goofy is just returning to the game, so he's gonna be kind of shell shocked at everything going on. His so his Doolan knowledge might be behind as far as all this stuff that's going on. I mean, mine was being tested on this because these characters being at these levels operate a little differently than what I'm used to. Um, mm. Honestly, some most of my roster is bigger than this, so it's kind of like, and you're having an even bigger issue where your roster is like. More into, than three, what to. more into three diamonds. And so, yeah. yeah, I have a few characters at three diamonds that really hinge. Like, having a fully empowered three diamond apocalypse is, like, a crazy different than non-empowered apocalypse, for example, which is something that I have, you have, everybody has, but we don't yeah, have like, on the Super Tesser. It's like the difference between losing against Infinity Watch and winning against Infinity Watch. Spoilers. All right. With that, <laughs> make sure you watch the rest of this video, but maybe go jump over to Dorky's right now. Those links will be down below. Check them out. And uh, Dorky, you want to tell these people to keep digging? Yo, Grave Diggers, keep on digging. In the first room, I've got to deal with a dark hold, and I'm going to be using Secret Defenders and Nova on this, and I've written down the effects because it's kind of complicated. I've also changed around some Isotope 8. I have more Raiders here because Raiders clear ability blocked because I do not want to get ability blocked in here with those characters. I don't mind if I get a ability blocked with Hard Light. In fact, now she can apply ability block. But I want to make sure I don't get ability blocked. I probably also should have wrote down their Isotope 8 so I can remember who I do and don't want to ability block. Man, this thing is crazy. If you're smart in here, you'll you'll want to um, make your Morgan Le Fay a raider so that she can't be ability blocked because that's pretty much what you normally do in here is you make is you go and ability block Morgan Le Fay, right? Except if she's a raider, you can't do it. All right, but you can stun her. So let me view the teams. Let me see what he's got her. Oh, she's a striker. It doesn't matter. I don't even see any raider, so I can ability block it. Well, I guess Doctor Strange. I can't ability block, but you see what's cool here is now I can just apply an ability block, except it didn't work. So <laughs> uh, everybody got ability block. What the hell happened? It ability blocked everybody. I didn't read that right. Okay. Everybody gets ability blocked and I'm going to stun Morgan Le Fay too. Wow. Skirmishers are really fun. They can apply ability block to everybody. Oh man, this is just nuts. This is nuts. I think I'm going to kill Quicksilver right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm into it. Let's go. And he got reability blocked. This room is fun on offense. Defensively, I don't know what's going to hold on this room. I mean, you can just do whatever you want in here. There are like no rules, man. If you understand the way this works and you just make your characters raiders who you don't want to get ability blocked, you'll never be ability blocked. They'll always be ability blocked and you will always win. So I, this is kind of a fun room. I'm not mad at this room. I'm not mad at this attack. I'm beating this with extremely high efficiency. I hope all my rooms go that well. That one I was kind of worried about, but thankfully my opponent did not seem to understand the room rules. Hey, you know what? Some of us aren't going to understand everything, and that's okay. That's why you have a Mr. Hartgrave, okay? That's why Mr. Hartgrave is going to be the uh, superior uh, content creator in this battle, the superior envoy. That's what we're trying to figure out here. Of course it's Mr. Hartgrave. Now, I don't know about this. I might be making a miscalculation here, though. I've got superior six on Extreme X-Men with raid rules, so that could be a real problem. But I still think Superior Six are really, really good and are going to win. By the way, I'm not using Mephisto. I'm not using Mephisto. Okay? 
because I, I don't have him yet in my roster. I am using a bit of a future roster and then I'm using Cabal for this. But I kind of feel like Mephisto is like, I don't know, kind of feel like that's cheating because he's not really in the game yet and I'm not going to have him for like months. All right, enough yapping. Let's see if Superior 6 can take down Extreme X-Men even in room two when they have raid buffs. I still think they can do it. Superior 6 is a nasty Cosmic Crucible team. But I definitely wouldn't want to send anything lesser on this. Because Extreme X-Men is going to be really, really evil and nasty in this room. It's going to be potentially very, very bad. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, he came in right with... Uh, everyone's going to attack Craven. Everybody has offense up, right? Why aren't they all assisting? Oh, no, this isn't that room. That That's a different room. This is just raid rules. Oh, my God, they are fast. Oh, that's the problem. They're getting all that raid speed. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. They are way too fast. I forgot about how fast they are with the raid rules. I might have to switch up my attacks here. I might have to cancel this one out. I don't know what is going to be fast enough to uh, to be faster than this. I, I got to get Green Goblin to his next turn. And I don't know if he's going to get there. They are decimating me. I think I got to quit this out. I'm not doing anything to this team. This team is destroying me. Oh, no. All right. I got to quit this out and rethink this. This was ill, Ill thought. I, I said I talked all that shit <laughs> and then I got entirely shut down because I didn't read. I didn't comprehend. Fuck Mr. Hartgrave. Okay. I have decided the best course of action here is to throw Bifrost at this. And I remember how nasty this used to be on defense. I'm hoping that it's got some juice on offense. Let's see who's better. Uh, Bifrost or Extreme X-Men. Let's go for it. I do know that they have some turn advantage. I think that uh, Sylvie hopefully is going to get to start with an ultimate. That would be big. If Sylvie can start with her ultimate and open this team up, then I think we can really get rolling, but I don't know. All right, we do start with immunity, so that's really good. We avoid that opening stun. We need a team that like shuts down critical hits. Because that's what speeds them up so much, is when they get critical hits, they go nuts. All right, we killed Cyclops passively, which is great. But I think that Forge is just going to bring them right back, which is going to be a problem. Yeah, he just brings them right back. Jesus, this is going to be a hell of a battle, I'm telling you. We've got a million points of power on him, but I don't even know if it matters. Vol can bring people back if they die, so that's good. This is a crazy fight. Okay, Sylvie does get to go. Sylvie does get to go. And I'm going to try to get rid of this Forge. Kick off with the ultimate. And it was good. Forge took a lot of damage. Sylvie might die here, but we do have that Vol. Uh, that gave out some energy when we got that kill. And now I've got to make a determination here on what I want to do. Um, who's about to take a turn? I don't know. Um, Sylvie's kind of a goner, but I'm going to try to kill Gambit. Because Gambit's kind of everything. If I can get rid of Gambit, we're in good shape. What am I going to do here? I'm just going to hit more into Gambit. He's already got an ability block, but I just really want him gone. So I'm going to use that double tap with Vol, and we got rid of Gambit. All right, so we stopped taking that passive damage. And now I've got to deal with this. We do get all the raid effects, though, which is good. And raids, if primary target is a cosmic hero, I'm going to get safeguard and immunity on everybody. Um, yeah, I think we got to go with the ultimate. And we'll go with it on Cyclops. I don't know. But let's get that safeguard up here. And then we get a big ultimate from Beta Ray Bill. He's always devastating, so that is good. And we've got some characters dead. Yep, Bifrost. Man, interesting. So Bifrost might be a really good attack team in this season of Cosmic Crucible, which is wild. I didn't see that coming. Bifrost was kind of falling off, but maybe this will bring it back. I mean, I'm into that. I'm into Bifrost being a team again that we use for stuff. 
That's kind of fun. It's interesting. I don't know where I'm going to use my Masters of Evil now. I think this changes up my plan about where I was going to put them. All right, there comes in Vol. And they're going to get the Revive, which is going to help us out a little bit with points. And uh, there it is. Room number two. Bifrost. Bifrost. All right, I'm going to be looking out for a place to use Masters of Evil at now because my plan was to use Masters of Evil over here on Infinity Watch, but now I can just hit him with Superior Six, and that's going to kill him a lot faster. So I don't really know. Um, I think New Warriors is going to be my go-to over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to want New Warriors on this. And I just don't know. I don't know about this Masters of Evil anymore, if it's even a thing. This season, I guess Kang. Kang might be a thing. I might use Kang somewhere on his own, which was kind of already the case last season. This is a weird season. All right, um, this should work. There, there shouldn't be any reason why New Warriors can't beat Secret Defenders. That's something I'm doing in the current season and should still work here. And they should work even better because they should all assist each other because I believe they're going to get offense up pretty quickly. I, I believe they get offense up. I don't know. Even if they don't, as long as they get speed advantage. Ooh, that's going to suck because they're all going to assist. No, they didn't because they don't have offense up. Okay, well, cool. All right, now they all have offense up. So now my new warriors are going to assist. So everyone's going to attack Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's deleted off of this attack because everyone's going to assist with offense up. It didn't happen the way... I, I, maybe I read that wrong. I don't know why. Where's the assist? There's offense up on the board, but there's no assist happening. I have no idea what's going on. You know, it doesn't even matter if you know how to read because it, it, the stuff you read doesn't even necessarily work. You know, it's the test server, right? I don't know what this room does. I don't know what the point of any of this is. But I am winning, so that's good. You know, winning's good. I can't hate on that too much. I feel like I'm winning faster than I normally would in this room. So that was good. New Warriors for the win. Room rules might not apply. I mean, let's read it again. Maybe I didn't read that correctly. On turn, if a character has taunt, gain offense up. On turn, apply assist now to all allies with offense up. On turn, all characters on turn, apply assist now to all allies who have offense up. That didn't happen. Okay, so I don't, I don't know what the hell that's all about. Now, this is horrible. Superior 6 is one of the worst things to find on defense anywhere, but especially in Cosmic Crucible. And I got stonewalled on it recently. I'm going to use Cabal. I'm going for the latest and greatest. And I have a feeling that it's going to destroy Superior 6. I tried this on the test server with a weaker Cabal. And it was doing its thing. With lesser characters. I was using Zemo and Doom. I'm using Omega Red and Doom here. And in this room, all villains... It used to just be city villains, at least when I first looked at it. Now it's just villains. Two less energy. So that's good for both of us. All right, I'm going to get hit with this ultimate from Green Goblin. That's going to suck. They might trigger Doom, though. God help them if they trigger Doom. Lizard comes in. He triggers Doom. Now my Doom gets to go. All right. All right, Superior Six. Your time is done, boys. And I'm just going to explode with Doom because he's going to die. If he hits anybody, he's going to get eaten up. But that's okay. And what I really wanted to do is get Namor three turns. So now Namor has three turns. He's coming in with his ultimate. And we are starting to eat away at people. And then Namor is going to come in, attack primary and adjacent targets. I want to go over here on the left and start doing this mega damage with Namor. Because Namor is a heavy hitter. And I'm going to get rid of Kraven. That's just going to delete him. Because Namor is just a beast right now. Absolute beast. 
And yeah, it looks bad for Cabal, but I don't know. I think they're going to be okay. Oh, Namor's taking some damage. Okay, this is a big hit. This is a big hit. America. Damn, stunned Green Goblin. Perfect. Almost did better than... Now, we killed him. We killed Green Goblin. So that's what I'm talking about. This team is nasty. Uh, we are going to get rid of Lizard now. I'm telling you, this Cabal team, guys, this is the future. Just dump it all into Cabal. If you want to win Cosmic Crucible, you are going to need this Cabal team. It is stupid good. You can see how stupid good it is. It just yeeted a superior six team right out of existence. I mean, there's something I can do. I can put my superior six on defense. I don't think I need them on offense. I think, you know what? After this round, I'm going to be that guy. And I'm going to put them on defense. I'm going to, I'm going to make them eat a cabal. Because they're just so gross. That's such a gross team. All right. Now I've got to beat uh, Infinity Watch. And I'm going to do it with Superior 6, I think. Just to get rid of it quickly. But I can use a lot of stuff to take out. So yeah, I think Superior 6 is going to defense. I like that move. I guess that's the room to put them in. I think you can put more interesting stuff in there. I mean, if you put a Cabal on defense, that might be really gross in there. I mean, Cabal in there is gross anyways. Could do something with Masters of Evil in there. I don't know. So many fun villains. Okay, we are going to go after this with a Green Goblin ultimate. And then I'm hoping that my opponent slips up in one room like I did. If not, he'll take the win. He'll take the win. Unless he slips up in one room like I. All he's got to do is slip up once. It's easy to do with new rules. That didn't clear the death proof. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. I was about to say. I was like, why didn't that clear the death proof? And I'm going to run over here. It's not going to drop an ability block, but I'm just trying to drop some damage down here. We killed Nebula once. She's out of it. I'll go ahead and get the Shocker out here. Shocker's out there. And here comes N.A. Spider Slayer. Nebula might get eaten up with counter attacks. I don't know how that's going to go. Green Goblin attacks. Man, Infinity Watch still taking too many turns to take out. I tell you what, this team, the value this team still holds is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's got this whole blind situation too, but no one's really getting blinded. All right, what am I doing over here with this? I think I'm going to go right down the middle just with a normal goblin bomb just to get some kills and get rid of some death proofs. Oh, I shouldn't have let Moon Dragon go. Oh, no, that's going to draw this fight out way longer than it needs to go. Stupid Moon Dragon. I did. I caught up to me. I didn't realize where we were at in the turn order. All right, we're getting it. Let's get rid of Gamora. And then this should do it. This should end the fight. Almost end the fight. We still have an Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock, die. All right, it's over. And we're on to the final room. One miscalculation might be the all, might be all it takes. Stay tuned and find out how far Mr. Hartgrave goes in this tournament and what his final bracket will be. But here we go. We're going into the out of time room, facing an out of time with Super Scroll. This is a really nasty defense. And I am going to try to counter it with Apocalypse, Super Scroll, and Void Knight. I don't know what else I could do to this. I could put Kang on here instead of Archangel. I'm kind of feeling that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put Kang on here instead of Archangel, which means I should put Titania on here to get extra damage, but I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to go with Kang. I may as well. Okay. I'm hoping just to bunch them all up, do a heap ton of damage, get some kills, and keep going from there. But I feel like Black Knight is going to counter and destroy me. And then I'll have to clean this up with whatever I have left, which ain't going to be a whole lot. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to start off with the basic and get rid of that immunity. All right. You know, scroll came in hitting hard. Scroll came in hot. 
Oh, Kang took an ability block. That is no good. But he got rid of it. And I can get rid of that Cosmic Ghost Rider right here. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get rid of this Cosmic Ghost Rider. All right. Well, thankfully, this out of time team is small. So that's kind of work, going to work as a cheat code here. We are going to draw everybody together with Void Knight. And then hopefully we are going to get rid. Damn, that Captain America got me. But that's okay. We lowered down the turn bar of Super Scroll, and hopefully we're going to get over here to the Apocalypse turn, and that's going to end this. I think we're going to be okay because we threw the house at it. We had to throw everything at it, though. I just got to end that Super Scroll with the Empowered Basic, and then we are out of here with just the one little mistake on that damn X-Men team. I just underestimated them. I thought Superior 6 was a little better than it was. Couldn't quite get it. I'm sure that Kang helped me get the uh, turn advantage there as well. That was good. Although Archangel would have helped out too. But uh, there it is. There's my score for this round. Let's see if my opponent has put in their score. I got a 49-781. Let's see if this clicks through. No, nah, they haven't done their attacks yet. You know, sometimes they don't even make their attacks. Because Envoys can't be bothered, boys. But this envoy is going to be bothered. He's going to do all three rounds, so stay tuned and keep digging.